Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we are going to create our auto form. So we're going to create some new templates. We're going to show you a one-liner of HTML Blaze code that allows you to completely generate your template based on your schema. So let's get going on that right now. Okay, so now we want to generate our auto form. Now to do that, we're going to go ahead and have to head to our routing code first. And what we're going to do is just completely modify this test route. Uh, before we do that, actually, let's go ahead and just delete this test template out of our main layout, just so we don't forget to do that. Now let's go ahead and delete the, the uh, path for test here and have this be something different. We want this to be a uh, recipe book. This is going to be the main page that our recipes are on, and you don't have to worry about actually navigating to this because after we set up some rules, essentially, uh, when you log into this site, it will auto direct you to recipe book. Okay, so we have recipe book here, recipe book. Now we want to render a specific layout into our main area. Now the template we want to use is going to be named recipes. Okay, let's copy this. Now let's head to our recipes folder that we created a long time ago in our client folder. I'm going to make a new file. I'm going to save this as recipes.html. Now inside of here, I'm going to make a new template with a name of recipes. Now to verify that everything's working here, we can just go ahead and say test here. Let's head to our route recipe hyphen book. And you can see we are getting that test, so the route's working, we're on the correct page. Uh, let's go back to our code here, and we're going to be including another template. Now, the reason why we're having another template within here is because there's going to be a lot more stuff on this recipes template here, and this is just going to be the form for adding a new recipe. I'm going to have the greater than sign, and now we're just going to say to use the template new recipe. Okay, so new recipe is going to be looking for a template called new recipe. So now it's going to be time to create one in our recipes folder. We can click in new file once more, new recipe.html, create a template with the name of new recipe. So now before we get our form going, let's go ahead and just have a div and we're going to have this be a container and it's just going to say new recipe container. Now if you're wondering how I'm doing this auto completion, it's being used through Emmet. If you're not using Emmet, it's a really nice way to write HTML really fast. So, so now inside of here, we're going to have another template tag with a greater than sign and we're going to use the word quick form. And now quick form allows us to completely generate a form from our collection. It's part of the auto form package, which you should have installed if you've been following along. So now let's go ahead and say collection is equal to, and then inside of quotes, we're going to say recipes. So this is attaching it to our collection. Now we're going to give this an ID. The ID is simply just going to be insert recipe form, nothing too crazy. Uh, the type is going to be, we're going to give this a type. It's going to be that of insert. This is going to be different from when we have things like update. Of course, those are things we'll go over later. And now we can say class is also equal to new recipe hyphen form. Okay, like so. Now, when we head back to our page, we should see that the form has been completely auto-generated for us based on our schema. So let's head back and you can see we have name, description, author, created at date. So this is amazing because we now have a form and we didn't have to do anything. But there are a couple of problems with it. We have author and created at, which are two things we wanted to auto-fill. So to change that, let's head back to our schema, which was recipes.js inside of our collections folder. So let's head down to the author field first. And what we're going to do is add some auto form specific values. So to do that, we can type auto form and it's going to have an object inside of this. We can say type 
And the type we want to give this form field is hidden. Now this is going to make this field completely hidden from view. Let's go ahead and paste that also in for created at. We can head back to our page. And when it refreshes here, as Meteor does, you will see that we no longer have the created at and we no longer have the author fields, yet we do have name and description still. Okay, so this is how you use quick form for auto form. Now, it doesn't give you the most control over any sort of auto form generation, and that's why quick form isn't the only way to automatically generate form fields. You can actually uh, add each field individually if you would like as well in a custom form. However, since we wanted to just get going quickly, uh, quick form is the way to go for that, and it, it is super easy if you don't have anything too complex going on. Now that by now this is by no means the end of quick form or collection two as we've been as we need to learn them. So in the next video, we are going to go through the process of getting our recipes to show up, and then we're gonna keep submitting this form until we can essentially get it working. There are several things that you have to know about, especially because we're no longer using the auto publish in insecure packages. So thank you for watching. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit me up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tuts. Love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.